name is Craig Rogo, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today where we will be discussing logistics. Best practice companies in logistics. Now, before we get started, I'd like to just go through how this video is actually set up and to, to kind of give you the parameters. First of all, this video is, is meant to be a summary of a further research case study project that I've done, and I've published that at a particular uh, uh, website, which I'll give you that address in a moment, but uh, to know that the intention of this video is not to go in depth per se, but to really hit the, the treetops, if you will, uh, by way of this overall report that I've put together there. So uh, with that in mind, uh, we can get started again uh, with this presentation, uh, and I will identify the resources that go along with this video. And this next slide here uh, and as, you, as I go through this presentation, I will be interjecting PowerPoint slides uh, to better organize my thought uh, talking points, okay? So with that, uh, the multimedia formats that this research project is presented in uh, are available, number one, at the actual uh, website publishing of this entire study, as I mentioned. And you can uh, find that by going to mergers and acquisition strategies.org forward slash best practice companies in logistics. Number two, uh, should you want uh, to actually have access to the PowerPoint presentation, which is an accompaniment of this video, uh, you can also download that there, or you could actually, uh, if you're really quick, you could uh, copy it from this link that I'm showing you here on number two. Uh, number three, if you'd like to see a video, the same video again on YouTube that you're watching now, you could do that by going to, to YouTube and actually typing in uh, best practice companies in logistics uh, with my name Craig Rogo and I'm sure I'll pop right up uh, but you can also view that video at the blog publishing as well in number one as I gave you so with that in mind let's get started and let me give you uh, an introduction to this overall study here and really what we're what we're taking a look at uh, the prevailing framework for business logistics within an organization can either streamline or derail the company's efficiency. While there are numerous companies in the field of business logistics that we could have chosen actually for this case study, I chose uh, DHL and FedEx because they're both outstanding and as we'll see as we go through uh, the summary points here that uh, they, are, they are renowned and, and, and really have set themselves apart within the field of, of logistics. Uh, both firms are globally reputed for their provisions of credible logistic services in general. Both of the companies have a distinct approach to business logistics. Now, because they're in the same industry, uh, we find that they do have some similarities. But logistics in general is not a cookie cutter. There's many different components to logistics and, and there's many different uh, pieces to that puzzle, if you will. Now, FedEx and DHL express our outstanding business logistic firms, as I've already identified. But the thesis of this particular study really identifies that the provision of exemplary service has positioned DHL and FedEx as market leaders in business logistics. Now, the next slide, uh, objectives of this project, really identify what you can take away uh, from this video and going into further uh, depth at the blog publishing. Number one, uh, we will analyze what these best companies do within logistics specifically. We'll define the similarities between DHL and FedEx. We'll describe the major differences between DHL and FedEx. And we'll critique DHL and FedEx best practices. And then lastly, uh, we'll identify how implementing best practices in logistics uh, is accomplished and helpful. So starting with the first company that we identified, best practice company FedEx, we, we, maybe some of you don't know, but many of you probably do, that the headquarters for FedEx is in Memphis, Tennessee. This firm has a global network of logistics and cargo operations, managing freight, managing courier service, etc. It offers services to numerous nationalities and as is virtually in every country in the world. The company uses modern technology systems to develop elaborate log logistics plans for its companies. And we'll see uh, this actually dis a distinguishing factor as we go through the differences between DHL and FedEx. But they actually assist their customers in logistics 
not just uh, providing them with uh, you know, the product through their service, which is delivering packages and freight and so forth. Moreover, this illustrates why FedEx is now standing firm in the logistics sector. It is also uh, a crucial or critical to, to point out that the efficiency of the company's human resource system, the company recruits professionals in logistics in order to cater adequately for the expectations of different clients. This has also boosted the company's standing as a best practice company in business logistics. So they actually look out for their customers and they actually aid them in logistics uh, for their particular industry uh, and their needs as well. Now the second company that we took a look at is DHL. So best practice company is DHL. Uh, this firm its headquarters is in Bonn, Germany. Maybe some of you haven't even uh, really known that, but if you're in the United States or the Americas uh, watching this video, uh, you hear a lot more about FedEx. Uh, for sure DHL is here, but FedEx definitely has this market. But if you're in Asia and Europe, uh, you probably think the same thing about DHL and wonder how FedEx has managed to hang on so long. Uh, so uh, they definitely have their, their footprints uh, a bit differently in the world. Now, uh, it has positioned itself among the most reputable global brands, for sure. In addition to freight, the company also offers courier services. In addition to multiple uh, containers, giant trucks, DHL has a fleet of airplanes as well. Uh, and so does FedEx, for that matter. Now, furthermore, despite facing extensive competition from other business logistics firms like FedEx, DHL Ex Express remains a market leader. It combines exemplary logistic methods to streamline the efficiency of supply chain networks. This includes harnessing te technological systems while maintaining efficiency within the human resource framework. Similarities between DHL and FedEx. The services in both firms include freight courier services and mail uh, delivery, among other items that we've, we've pointed out. Uh, technology is an essential pillar in the operational framework for both firms, as, as I've mentioned. And both firms have more or less similar competitors, especially at the international stage. Differences between DHL and FedEx. The nature of equipment employed in both logistics firms is also characterized by some differences. For instance, DHL mainly transports cargo through its fleet of airplanes. In contrast, FedEx mainly uses trucks and uh, ship vessels. And of course, FedEx has its own planes too, but there are some distinguishing differences in how they actually move their, their cargo. So DHL Express is the most dominant logistics firm in the European zone and Asia, as I pointed out briefly before. FedEx is the most dominant business logistics firm in the Americas. While FedEx offers services for third-party logistics, this is not the case with DHL. So again, a distinguishing factor is that FedEx has taken logistics uh, a step further in that it actually is attentive to the logistic needs of its customer by way of third-party logistic requirements and they actually assist them with consulting in those areas. That has definitely set them apart. Critique of Beth Practice DHL and FedEx. The level of operation efficiency in both logistics firms are tremendous, no doubt about that. This is among the most essential attribute of the logistics service sector. So these are the pinnacle, if you will, of logistics and how logistics is set up and operated. They have high volume, uh, within their mail and cargo uh, divisions and they need efficient systems and supply chains to uh, make all that work. Operational e efficiency facilitated for the timeliness and thus adverse any kind of delay. So in the shipping business time is everything and getting a product from point A to B is, is really what it's all about. And In order to do that consistently and uh, uh, reli re reliably uh, it takes these kinds of processes to make that actually happen. Consequently, uh, the, the time delivery of goods is essential towards streamlining the business performance. Now, business logistics operations must be effective. Both companies have exemplary frameworks for operational efficiency. This has been a massive influence in the terms of enhancing the growth 
of both brands as market leaders in the business sector within logistics. Implementing best practices in general now. As we've looked into these two companies in depth, we have seen some consistencies and some, uh, some identified some, uh, if you will, characteristics that are important to, to bring out in any company that would be trying to look at logistics for themselves. You know, it's, it really is essential to establish a framework that facilitates for risk mitigation while also minimizing cost. That is key. An elaborate analytical framework that assesses the contingencies associated with, with any deal. So it is important that those frameworks are, are thoroughly assessed. Sustainability of investment is an essential aspect also for best practices in, within the logistics sector. Now, what has really allowed these companies to continue to grow is the recruitment of comp competent personnel uh, is, is very important, essential, in fact. And this contributes massively uh, towards the efficiency of the supply chain system by making sure that the technologies that are available today are incorporated within the logistic uh, process or system. Conclusion. We've learned, uh, or this study has bared out the fact that technology is an essential pillar in the operational framework for both firms within logistics. And we've identified that, and we also know that there's many other firms that have really excelled in this area too. But these two uh, companies definitely can be looked at in that regard as models. For instance, both firms employ modern technology platforms to streamline the accuracy and efficiency of their respective inventory systems. Additionally, the integration of these technology systems facilitate for the, uh, um, identify the delays among other uh, different customers. So similarly, both best practice firms pertain to the competition. Both firms have more or less similar competitors, especially in the international stage. Again, the thesis, the provision of exemplary service has positioned DHL and FedEx as market leaders in business logistics. That really was the, the thesis of, of this uh, project. These are best practice companies which serve as models for other organizations in business logistics and technology uh, has proven to be an essential pillar in the operational framework for both firms. Again, uh, this next slide here will show you the blog publishing, again, where a full report on this case research project is available. And you can view it again by going to mergers and acquisition strategies.org forward slash best practice companies in logistics. And you'd be able to download the PowerPoint presentation, view the video again. Uh, and as we'll see in this next slide here, actually uh, take a look at some of the accredited academic resources that I used uh, during this research and go into further depth should you choose. So uh, I've enjoyed uh, discussing logistics with you. I, I uh, hope that it was helpful and beneficial for you as you take a look at logistics yourself. And again, this presentation uh, was created, produced, and narrated by myself, Craig Rogo. So again, I want to thank you for joining me. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you again in the future. Thank you again for watching. Bye.